check it out. I've got my little sidekick here with me and at this time he is currently about three weeks old. Okay, I'll let him sit down a little bit. Uh, my name's Ashley, I'm a yoga teacher and a new mom and I live in Washington in a brand new house, so I'm a new homeowner. Uh, lots of kind of lifestyle type stuff. So today I wanted to go through a few products and things that I didn't know I needed before I had this little man. So this is more of like a mom video. These are three products that I didn't realize I needed until after I had Ezra, and these are for breastfeeding. Um, I decided that I wanted to breastfeed my baby if and when I ever had one, and the only thing I've ever heard about breastfeeding from some people and their struggles is that it's hard, it hurts, um, baby's not getting enough milk, they have issues with latching, with supply, all of that. Well, let me tell you, I had none of those problems, and in fact, my issues are the complete opposite. So uh, three days after he was born, my milk came in. I didn't know that was a thing, so like right away, bam, there's milk. It's everywhere, and I was sore, I hurt, like, ended up leaking everywhere. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and I'm shoving like these burp rags in my bra, just like shove this, feed them here, shove it on that side. Milk's getting everywhere. And I'm like, is this just the way it has to be? No. There are some things that I asked, asked some friends for, on, um, for some advice and they gave me some great products. So number one is, um, I'm just gonna talk about these, nursing bras. So I bought, purchased three of them from Amazon. There's sleeping nursing bras. They come with like insert pads as well. I took them out of this one. They have a little clasp right here that you just pull down to do the breastfeeding thing. And they're pretty cheap and they're cheap as in cheaply made and cheap because there are three of them for $18. You can probably find them even cheaper if you buy more. I bought three right away. I'm like, yeah, I'll be good with three. No. Luckily, the next day before he was born, I was gifted three more as well as three tank tops that are nursing tank tops. And I was like, do I need all of these? Yes, yes I do. And I'm so glad I had all of them because again, leaking everywhere, I'm going through all of my tank tops and bras and washing them almost daily. To help with that, to help with the, all of that, additionally, the next thing I got was um, these nursing pads. So they go inside your bra and the moisture wicking side uh, goes against your skin to collect all of the moisture and the smooth side goes against the bra. There are disposable ones, but I decided I wanted to go with washable ones. I got four pairs at first thinking that would be enough. No, no, <laughs> washing them way too much, not running out of them during the day. So I got seven more pairs for about the same price and I really can't tell the difference. So if you go on Amazon and look up like bamboo, is what they are, bamboo nursing pads, um, the pack of seven pairs was $14 and the pack of four was 12. So just go with, you know, go with more bang for your buck, just do a little bit more. And they come with a little mesh baggie, uh, mesh baggie to wash them in. So I wash these even though I have 11 pairs, again, like daily because I'm running through them. And the last thing that I ordered from Amazon, of course, I'm ordering everything from Amazon because I'm a new mom. I don't wanna have to go places that I don't have to go. So Amazon two-day shipping, thank you. Um, I posted to Instagram about my struggle with like leaking everywhere, I don't know what to do all of that kind of stuff. And a few friends chimed in and talked about something called a Haka, H-A-A-K-A-A. -A -A -A. It's a brand and it's a, this thing. It's a silicone squeezable one piece pump, basically. So you squeeze it, so you're like nursing on one side, you squeeze it, stick it on the other side and it sticks there, you can go hands free because it just suctions on and it sucks out and collects all the milk on the other side. Or you could just hold it here and have it collect the milk. So this has been a lifesaver. I got this a few days after my milk came in and I'm like, thank goodness. I don't have a pump. I wasn't really planning on pumping a lot uh, because I don't have a full-time job. I was like, I'll figure it out later when I get there. And I think this has pretty much replaced it. It's $16 for just, this is the basic, basic one. Um, there are ones with like a suction bottom and there's one that has a stopper in it for not spilling it. Um, but this has been amazing and I wish I would have known about it before my milk came in so I could use it right away. 
but this is how I'm building up a little bit of a freezer stash. So a little bit uh, of extra milk so that when I'm away from this guy ever, I have it there. And I was using it a little bit more, but then realized like every feeding at first, cause it just was so helpful to relieve the pressure. But I was told that if you use it too often, just like a pump, your body, it signals your body to produce more. And I didn't want that. So um, I ended up now just using it, you know, two or three weeks later, using it one to two times a day and collecting three to four ounces. Um, and usually at night when, at night or early morning when like I'm in bed and it's going everywhere and I just want not everything to be wet. So I'll use it then um, at night and I'll, I have this nice little freezer stash. So I probably won't have to pump a whole lot in the future because I've got enough. And so this has been awesome. I didn't know about this. I didn't really think about these. I, I, didn't, I haven't heard of people leaking constantly or any of that. I didn't know that was a thing. Again, I, I thought that people's issues were more along the lines of not having enough supply and being worried in that way. So thankfully I'm the opposite, but those are the three things I'd highly recommend. Uh, maybe you wanna you know, buy them and not open them until you need to, or if you need to, um, so that you could possibly return them. But I would definitely have them on hand as a new mom when your milk comes in because you don't know what's going to happen. I have friends who say they never leak, that's not an issue, and then other ones who say they also had that issue, that problem. Problem. It's a good problem to have because I'd rather have this happen than the opposite. Um, but I'm really thankful for all my nursing bras. I also got a cute lace one, so I do have one, two, three, four, six, seven of them. Um, thankful for these little bamboo nursing pads. There are disposable ones, by the way, but I don't want to create more waste, so I'm going washable. And this little Hakka suction breast pump. So it's awesome. Just know you don't want to use this too much because you want to regulate your body to know what baby needs. But now that for me, he's eating a little bit more, um, I just use this one to two times a day or less if I can. But it's helpful for those first days, let me tell you. All right, thanks for watching. And I'm going to get back to <laughs> baby duty. Let's see, he's gonna say goodbye. Okay, well, anyway, he's gaining tons of weight. By the way, he's three weeks old and already gained a pound and a half or more. He was seven pounds, one ounce when he was born. And now um, at his doctor's appointment today, three weeks later, he's eight pounds and 11 ounces. So he's popping out of this newborn onesie and he's doing awesome. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll post more videos later and I'll catch you again next time.